are such an asshole. So uh, I was running my errands today, and uh, I was listening to was it Nerbrotic? They were talking about how the writer's strike ended. Because I don't watch the news. I just don't care about the news anymore. It doesn't matter. Um, and when I was an economist, I was paid to listen to the news. And people didn't listen anyway. So there's the news. And so they're telling how the writer's strike ended. And that the late night talk shows, the Jimmy's, the Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, I was going to say Nikki Fallon. That's not Jim Fallon, Kimmel, Robert Colbert. And some other guys were going to come back. And then I was like, oh, I remember... Colbert, he's the guy that replaced Jon Stewart. And if you don't remember, Jon Stewart was kind of the one that did the political late night talk shows. If you can if go back in time, boys and girls, if you look up in the history books, there was a time where the late night talk shows were just entertainment. <clears throat> and maybe they skewer Democrats and Republicans or have Don Rickles on. But it wasn't the, the political late night, which I believe was the daily show with Jon Stewart, very popular in my day. They came out. So I'm like, whatever happened to that guy? I know he retired quite some time ago. So I looked him up and uh, a lot, of, I mean, you know, a lot of people aren't looking for this news, but apparently he's been through a fair amount of surgeries and hospital visits. I mean, he's older than me. And um, the, the good news is they finally got the last bit of Obama's dried cum off his face uh, last week. So he's all good to go. <laughs> This is it. This is all the late night shock. Late. This is what late night talk show guys do. I could do this all day, all day. And I don't need, I just came up with that on the fly. I didn't need writers, you know, with the dumbass liberal arts degree to write that for me. And it was actually funny. It was actually funny. But anyway, uh, I did it while I was driving around. I'm like that asshole. I remember that guy. And here I am. I was an economist at the time, busting my ass off doing numbers and data. And I could not for the life of me figure out why he was so popular. He was just this bad. Everyone can accuse someone they disagree with of being a shill for whatever major party. This guy was a fucking shill. A fuck not actually paid, but he might he should have been. The Democrat Party should have paid. This guy, nonstop anti-Bush, Republicans, that, bah, bah, bah. And he could not suck Barack Obama's dick enough. He could not. Oh, my God. And meanwhile, I'm busting my ass off doing economics work. And like, this isn't how it works. And then I kind of realized, like, this guy was made. This guy was manufactured in a corporate marketing lab. Sent out and like, hey, fellow young kids, 20-something hipster types. This is when I was young. Here's the new cool guy. And I know you all think the Gen X is like this renegade. What the? What's that horrible John Hughes film? Um, <clears throat> Breakfast Club, Rebellious. Nah, nah, maybe a little bit more percent than the other generation, but not much. Line up. And drink that slop. And that's where they get their news. The Daily Show. <clears throat> and and it, it was it was the era where you go to a house party. And if it was found out you weren't a Democrat. And they're like, he's a Republican. I'd be like, I'm a Libertarian. But it didn't matter because people are stupid. Oh, I got to turn that off. Hang on. <clears throat> there we go. Let's wait. Let's wait for the internet. South Dakota internet gods are 50-50 tonight. And akin to, oh, you just hate black people and poor people want to murder kids and all this. Stuff. I'm like, you mean like people for abortion? Hell, <laughs> also no writer involved in that one. <clears throat> but in addition to basically trying to say like, yeah, socialism is bad. You shouldn't do that uh, at house parties of all things, because that's what I wanted to do. Then I had my peers, some of which are my friends, were my friends. Well, John Stewart said this. I'm like, oh, did the corporate NPC robot say what it was told to say? <clears throat> and let's fast forward now. I got to ask. I got to ask all you Gen Xers. How's that advice working for you? Because enough time has passed. I know Colbert's going to say the same damn thing. And the Zoomers, the Millennial, whoever the hell, they're going to, oh, my God, we just need more free stuff. 
There's some way to turn lead to gold. We just haven't found it yet. Why are we so poor? Print off more money. <clears throat> but enough time has passed that Gen X now, you guys got kids. And I'm, I, if my, my friends or colleagues or acquaintances in the past are any indication, oh, you, you got skin in the game. They're teaching you what at the, your kids, what at the public schools? Oh, you, you made a little bit more money, went up a couple income tax brackets. Oh, you bought property and you, you were unaware of what the property taxes were. Oh, and I've had more, which is a, a fan, an infinitely high number. I've had more than that. Four or five people now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we picked on you. Yeah. Oh, and by pick on, you mean call me a Nazi because I wanted low taxes and a balanced budget and 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 term limits. Okay, tell me, tell me you picked that was picking on me. All right, sure. Equating me to a, a mass murder, that's fine. Okay, go on. Yeah, you were right. Oh, I was. And now I just gotta know. I mean, that's that's my world. There's selection, but how's that working for you, Gen X or know it alls? Hey, hipster young kids. Good news, everyone. The Republicans are dickheads. Uh, all that political advice, all that, how's it working? Was the cool guy that was told to tell you what to think to say and like, hey, kids, those Republicans sure are squares, am I right? And you fell for it. You fell for it. All right, looks like the internet gods are being that. So how's things going? How how is how's every retirement plan? How's the kids? Are the kids, did they get the pronouns? Oh, you don't, oh, are you a little worried? Oh, because you're going to die in like 30 years, but your kid's going to keep living. And now you're a little bit more empirically worried about how the real world is. Not the hopium, copum, bullshit, unicorn farts crap. Mr. Corporate made in a lab guy told you to think. Oh, huh. And I know because every other generation sucks so much by comparison, Gen X looks good. For the love of God, I'll tell I'll tell you guys again. This is the same generation that put the pacifiers in their mouth when they went night clubbing. And then they'll say, oh, you didn't know that was about LSD. And I'd say, there's my point. Oh, yeah, I'm the square. I didn't know that was about LSD. And that's why you put pacifiers in your mouth. I sure am the square. <laughs> this generation is nothing, nothing to applaud. It's nothing spectacular. We got some edge and advantage. I'll grant you that. There's some of us that are really good. But but the the Democrat dick sucking major political party endorsing. Oh, my God. Barack Obama. We ain't it. <clears throat> or we are it. We're not the ones who kicked the trend. They just followed the trend the entire day. They, they did exactly as they were told. And there was no more epitomal example than that as the, the Daily Show with Jon Stewart. <clears throat> That's it. That's all I had. I just want to point that out. So now with the new version, hey, kids, those Republicans, oh, my God. They sure want to kill a lot of black people, don't they? Oh, thank God you're not like them. Don't work and vote for more free shit. Because I'm popular. And the hilarity that these guys are like, that was the whole shtick. Like, they're intellectuals. <laughs> like, like this was the Laughlin group. Or uh, what was the one with William F. Buckley Jr.? Was that the Laughlin group? I don't know. <clears throat> we got any super chats? We ain't got no super chats. All right. Just had to point that one out. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.